Ah, so I thought I would weigh in on this uh, cross-platform battle of the bitterness spat between former President Donald Trump and tech overlord Elon Musk. So a while ago, Trump said this on his Truth Social account. When Elon Musk came to the White House asking me for help on all of his many subsidized projects, whether it's electric cars that don't drive long enough, driverless cars that crash, or rocket ships to nowhere, without which subsidies he'd be worthless, and telling me how he was a big Trump fan and Republican, I could have said drop to your knees and and beg he would have done it. Now, I don't pay attention to the billionaire drama because it comes off like Trump is the 80s movie star and Elon is the young up-and-comer and Trump is sitting there going, uh, uh, Sancho, not while I'm still fucking breathing. Now, a bunch of people thought, oh, this was very funny. Now, being the weirdo that I am, I didn't think it was funny. I was more sitting there asking, going, what the fuck, why? I like both of you, stop being gay. That was my reaction. Now, again, weirdo, my first question looking at this was, did you give him the subsidies, Trump? And looking at the past, to Trump's credit, he did not, at least not for Tesla. Trump did swing pretty heavily at the uh, automobile manufacturers that wanted to move their plants overseas in his fight to protect the American workers. Uh, probably not helped by the fact that he was in the middle of a tariff war with China over the steel, but, ah, you know, he can't win them all, I suppose. Now, Tesla has received a colossal amount of subsidies. That much is true. Far more at the state than federal level, though, especially in Nevada. He's gotten several hundred million on the federal level. However, he has not only paid it back with interest, he did so with years ahead of schedule, unlike other automobile companies that have received billions in conjunction with the bailout they got over a fucking decade ago, which I'm pretty sure they still haven't even paid off fully. So while government subsidies suck ass and you can criticize them all damn day long, as well you should, maybe with a certain South African genius billionaire, he can maybe make the exception. Seems like he has proven himself to be uh, fiscally responsible and honorable, so well done to him there. Now, as far as the how the hell did we get to this point, it seems Elon was the one that started it off unintentionally by saying he voted for Mayor Flores, the Mexican last that won in Texas, saying that it was the first Republican that he had voted for, as well as endorsing Ron DeSantis, a potential rival to Trump's 2024 run. At least on paper. I'll do another video explaining why I think that's a lot of rubbish, but as well as saying Trump needs to set sail and ride off into the sunset. Now, with that being said, I actually think it was the first time I voted for a Republican line about Flores that pissed Trump the hell off. I think that is what made him think and say Elon is a bullshit artist. And endorsing DeSantis obviously just made that a hell of a lot worse. Now, with that being said, we have to choose who do we believe here? That Elon did not in fact say that he liked Trump and voted for him, or that Trump is lying about Elon saying that? Frankly, I don't know who to believe. I do not get what Elon would get by lying about his voting for Flores, especially not by saying massive red wave in 2022. He's just going to cop heat from the press for no benefit other than the lulls. And endorsing the Sanders is obviously going to rile the Don's ire because, well, let's be honest, Trump has a massive fucking ego. Lord knows he's hoping Elon's Twitter deal fizzles because if Elon can get Twitter at a discount price, he is going to troll like a swaggering king. And I would not blame him at all for doing so. Now, while Trump is not exactly known as the smoothest operator himself, he does, uh, okay, maybe not bullshit, that does him a disservice, uh, is prone to grandiose exaggeration, shall we say. That is kind of his style. However, we have seen the man take an arsenal of bullets and just drop them like he's Neo from the fucking Matrix. And when he does make claims, he, oddly enough, does seem to have a pretty strong proven track record of being credible. So, hmm. Who the hell knows? Certainly not I. And that is all for today, and I will see you all next time.